These are the osteoblasts which continuously deposit bones. The parathyroid hormone or PTH binds to the receptors on the osteoblast. As a result, the osteoblasts release cytokines like OPGL. The OPGL stands for osteoproteogenin ligand. The OPGL is also called as rank ligand. The rank ligand stands for receptor activator of NF kappa B ligand. The OPGL binds to the receptors on pre osteoclasts and activates the receptor. As a result of this receptor activation, the pre osteoclasts undergo differentiation to produce phagocytic mature osteoclast. The mature osteoclasts then develop ruffled membrane. Inside the mature osteoclast, lysosomes are present. These lysosomes contain proteolytic enzymes. This is the nucleus of mature osteoclast. As shown here, the mature osteoclast is a multinucleated cell. It may contain as many as 50 nuclei. During bone resorption, lysosomes containing proteolytic enzymes and other substances migrate towards the ruffled membrane and release the proteolytic enzymes over the bone surface. Mitochondria and secretory vesicle contains acids. These acids are released over the bone surface simultaneously with proteolytic enzymes from the lysosomes. The proteolytic enzymes digest or dissolve the organic bone matrix, whereas acids cause dissolution of the bone salts. Due to the action of both acids and proteolytic enzymes, the bone is reserved. This is the area of bone resorption. The examples of acids present in the mitochondria and secretory vesicles of mature osteoclast are citric acid, lactic acid, etc. These are the osteocytes present in the organic bone matrix. These osteocytes are osteoblast in nature. They are encased in organic bone matrix during bone tissue production. The osteocytes form a system of interconnected cell that spreads all through the bone. Vitamin D also stimulates the osteoblasts to produce mature osteoclasts. Please like, subscribe and share.